Hello everybody and welcome back uh, and today we're still we're looking at this uh, NAM circuit the NAC52SE fully discrete pre-amplifier DIY kit finish board um, now I've been playing around with this using the audio analyzer I'm just gonna show you real quick just it's all simple enough to connect up I've put the couple of these uh, blue connectors on and I've still got a blue connector there just be playing around and um, I've got it wired up at the moment to the Digital the Analog Discovery 2 um, just because well, it's just easier for me to set up like this to be honest with you at the moment so let's go back to the screen and we'll look at the audio analyzer suite here and I've already run these tests and I'm just going to show you very quickly what we got here is uh, range 20 Hertz 30 kilohertz we got a total harmonic distortion plus the noise on this so you can see here if we look uh, we're coming in at 21 uh, kilohertz or just there 20 20 hertz sorry um, and over here we've got 0 0.07 if I just put that back there run across here 0 0.07 so I'll just run across it quick so we get to a 0 0.078 there uh, we're 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.06, 0 0.07, 0 0.07, 0 0.07, and we had a 6 there, 0 0.06, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.06, and that's at 27.86 kilohertz. Alright, so that doesn't look too bad at all. Um, we don't do a title on it's sort of um, power with this. But look at the frequency response. I don't mind running this again just because uh, just because we're here and I'm going to put it in a slightly higher level actually and just see what happens here and we'll run that. Yeah, doesn't seem to be too bad at all. This is 20, kilohertz, uh, 20 hertz we got a 0 0.09 uh, difference against reference voltage. Uh, we're pretty much a straight line across, and there's a slight gain there of uh, 0 0.09. So we've got a minus 0 0.09 here, and we've got a, a gain of 0 0.09 there. And when we get to 20 hertz there, 20 kilohertz, um, we've got a little uh, minus 1.7. Let's be honest with you, that's not particularly bad, especially for one of these kits. If you remember, we just look at the price again quick. £6.70, that's from me logged in, so I don't get any special discounts or anything, but you can get it a little bit cheaper um, a lot of the time. So yeah, uh, not bad. Uh, spectrum Analyzer, um, this is roughly about its sort of sweetish spot. Um, I can keep playing around with it and get these to be a bit different, uh, put it up full volume, I get a bit more here and this drops down here, the natural fact the, uh, the 2k drops down remarkably well but this is sort of like the sort of sweet spot from what you're getting um, to keep those numbers around about the same minus, uh, oh, let's just go back here on that third harmonic because that's the one that's near enough sticking out the most and you can see it look at minus 74 dB at uh, 3 kilohertz and at the 5 kilohertz look over the same place, minus 73 not bad, all sort of tallies up with those numbers um, I'm looking at the scope side of things, this is at 30 hertz. Not really a great deal of drop off there. Yeah, it's not perfect, but then you wouldn't really expect it for the, uh, for this sort of thing. And I'm going to just try this again with these levels here. I'm going to paste that in there, just do a single shot. I'm just wondering if this makes any difference. That actually drops down to so a slightly higher power level. It seems to be happier for the bottom end, which I suppose is about right. So did you see that difference? Yep, yep. So it sort of jumped up a little bit and uh, made it a bit squarer there. But if that's at 30 hertz, uh, we'll look at 20 just for the sake of it. And a single shot there. Yeah. Uh, 500. There, single there. That's nice. That's a very nice square wave, actually. Uh, we get to 1k. Just for the sake of the 1k thing. And, uh, single shot there again, very nice. Uh, we'll just jump straight to 10 now. 10k, yeah, slightly a little bit. 
to be a speed issue, not sure. Uh, we're going to go to 20 kilohertz. No, and still, that's not too bad. I mean, it sits nice and tight like that. Yeah, it's not too bad. I know some people got really high on these, and I'm going to go to 50 kilohertz just for the sake of it. Just have a look. Nah, not that great. Back it back down to 30. Ah, it's very acceptable. Very acceptable. So, just going back here again very, very quickly. So this is when I was just looking at some NAD amplifiers, actually. Um, I don't know if it'll still be my thing here down the end, is it? Uh, no, but I was looking at some NAD amplifiers and I was just wondering... Um, but I was just wondering what the um, the THD because a lot of the time, yeah, I'll put it in here now. Uh, is it in there at all? No. Uh, so, nerd, nerd amplifier. So here we go. This is what I was looking at. So we got the uh, the thirty twenty because that was a classic, wasn't it? And this is now a hybrid digital. Uh, what I was looking at here was the specifications. Uh, when you see here, look, um, at the total harmonic distortion, I mean, it is a very good number, but then, you know, if you put the 5 here, you put the 5 there, and that's, that's it's only one order of magnitude out from what this little tiny, oh, this will be screened up and all sorts, um, but for what this little tiny uh, this little, little tiny kit is offering, and that's with noise, and that's something I need to point out now because look, look at those numbers, zero point zero five, right? That's with the noise, and now look at this look. Total harmonic distortion, not with the noise. Doesn't say noise as well. So let's just go back here, and we'll filter out that noise. Boom. All right, it hasn't dropped down drastically, but still. Uh, 0 0.03s now, all along the line, 0 0.03, 0 0.03, 0 0.03, uh, 0 0.01, 0 0.02, about, well, you're above 20 kilohertz now, 0 0.02. So you just take out that little bit of noise, uh, we look at the second harmonic, uh, 0 0.011. You know, 0 0.014, 0 0.08. So I'm going to say, look, for this little tiny, for this little tiny board that we got here, for the amount that it costs, and if you're a newbie to AliExpress, you get it less than half the price. Seems like it should be okay. Nothing to say in the outputs. It's going to be terrible. And it's all going to be down to preference of choice, because I'll tell you what, right, I've listened to so many of these now. And I've listened to so many of these little amplifiers, and it look, you go read up on the square wave thing. Square wave will show you, yeah, okay, brilliant. It does a great square wave going through. That does not mean to say it's going to be the quality of sound, because that's going to be subjective, right? I'm going to give you this in the starkest way possible. The subjective quality of sound is uh, my daughter when she was a baby. Her crying to me was like. You know, she's singing to me. She wants something. So what it doesn't matter what it is, I'm going to go and attend to her. She's my baby. But to somebody else, could just sound like a squawking child. You see what I mean about sound is subjective. So you spend, you know, you'd hope if you went out and spent £5,000 on an amplifier and then you stuck it next to a board you can get off on an express for 50 quid, you want it to sound better. You want it to sound better. Um, and chances out to you it's going to sound better whether it does or doesn't to the next person is a different thing so it's one of those it's a cheap little board it doesn't seem to have any issues with it whatsoever and um, you're only going to know whether you like it until you've listened to it alright that's it I'll catch you in the next one guys take care for now bye bye